Off the top at six, wheels up, guns down. It's a potentially dangerous MLK tradition in South Florida. Chopper 4 are live over a gas station in West Miami Dade, Southwest 8th Street and 74th Avenue, a temporary pit stop. And this has been a story that's been developing for hours now. The activity has primarily been in the northern neighborhoods of Miami Dade County. Now it's moving westward. CBS 4's Joe Murray begins our live team coverage. She's in Northwest Miami Dade. Joan? Yeah, and we saw dozens of bikers going down here in Northwest 7th uh, this afternoon. But let's take a look. The arrests go on. We have some new video from Chopper 4, and this happened in Doral about a half an hour ago. Man on a motorcycle apprehended for apparently violating the law. He was taken into custody. And this is pretty much the story that we have seen all day and also all weekend throughout South Florida. It's a game of cat and mouse through the streets of South Florida on this Martin Luther King Jr. federal holiday. As law enforcement tries to put the brakes on reckless riders during the annual Wheels Up, Guns Down event. We use our, our air assets, the helicopters, to follow, obviously overhead. And uh, the hope is that at some point they'll either run out of gas or they'll stop, at which point we can effect an arrest. Sunday, a car and dirt bike collided in Miami Gardens, leaving the dirt bike operator seriously hurt. Over the weekend, two Miami Dade officers were hurt checking out reports of swarming bikers. An ATV driver is accused of riding over the foot of an officer. And this man, John Aguilar, was arrested after crashing his ATV into a squad car. Another man, Carlos Dominguez, was charged with careless driving and resisting an officer. They believe that the pack mentality and the more they can get together uh, insulates them from any type of law enforcement response. But you say that they're wrong. They're absolutely wrong. Since the weekend, Miami-Dade says they've impounded 28 bikes, have seized two firearms, and over 25 people have been arrested. In Broward, eight criminal citations have been issued, two arrests, and 13 bikes towed. South Florida law enforcement in overdrive while the holiday winds down and the biking heats up. FHP out with a warning. ATVs and off-road vehicles are prohibited on the highways. Troopers are out in full force enforcing all traffic laws. And they are expected to keep enforcing those laws all evening. Going to be a very long night for law enforcement. In Northwest Miami-Dade, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.